they're not betas, but they're betas. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the Shop King. Yeah, it's Shop King time. All right, what's going on, everybody? Shop King here. Today, I'm going to teach you all about betas. What are they? What are they worth? How do you get them? How can you trade for them? Well, when Animal Jam first came out in 2010, the very first items in the store, those are the beta items. And you can actually still find some beta items in the store, like the fish bowl and the pink lamp. But since they're in the store, they're not really worth anything because you can just go buy them. So let's go to my den and I am going to teach you all about betas. There's a lot of confusion. People don't know what's beta and what's not beta. For example, this basketball, is that beta? I mean, it looks like it might be, right? What about this beta banner? Of course a beta banner is beta, right? <laughs> right? The globe, definitely the globe is beta. And this basket of candy, that's beta, right? What else we got? Oh, the toy box. That's gotta be a beta for sure. Let's see what else we got. Cactus. Okay. Stack of books. Pot of gems. Of course. The fly trap. Sewing machine. Soccer ball. Right? The Myra statue. Rocking horse. Plaid couch. And uh, I'm gonna have to lock my den because they're gonna be blocking everything. Okay, of course, the gecko plushie. Candy bowl. Scarecrow. Bronze giraffe statue. All right. Oh, the freedom banner. And the pink chest. All right. Okay, so now I have my den filled with all of these cool betas, right? Mm. No, none of these are beta. Not one of these is a beta item. Can you believe that? Now, of course, a lot of people consider them beta. Scarecrow, the basket of candy, rocking horse, gecko, fly trap, sewing machine, and the statues, the globe. I mean, if I say trade me a beta and you trade me some of these, yeah, I'm gonna take that trade, but these are not real betas. Now I'll show you the real betas. So put away all those, let's start over. Of course, Cami Frog. This is actually, it's actually the best beta, if you ask me. Globe isn't real, the basket of candy isn't real. This actually is a real beta, but it's still in stores, so it doesn't really count. Uh, the Art Easel, that is a real beta. Computer, that is a real beta. The pirate chest, that is a real beta. RC car, real beta. Okay, there is a books, a beta books. I don't have that one. I wish I did, but I don't. The robot. Computer, pirate chest. Uh, what else do we got? The TV. Television is a real beta. Open sign, that's a real beta.
Oh, of course, the Zeos sculpture. That's a real beta. The train. And the orange mat is beta. And the blue mat is beta. Bubblegum machine. Make sure it's this one and not the new one. Because there's two different bubblegum machines. Oh yeah, is the porch beta? No, it is not, but it is one of those items that a lot of people consider beta. Lantern, is the lantern beta? The lantern is not beta, but the torch is. Wall torch, that is a beta. The swords and shield is beta. And the fancy chest. Whoops, can't forget the small table. That's actually one of the better betas. The betas that are non-member, that don't have this little lock on it, those are the ones that people really want the most. Okay, I think that's all of them. Oh, whoops, I almost forgot about the heart couch. That's also beta. And I think I think that's all of them. If I forgot one, go ahead and post it down in the comments for me. Of course, there's also beta wallpaper and beta floors out there. So here's a look at every single real beta. And now you might be wondering to yourself, how do you get betas? Well, Really, the best place and the only place is the Forgotten Desert. I get betas pretty much every day in the Forgotten Desert, but you have to do it a lot. A whole lot. Let's go ahead and let's head over to the desert, see if we can get a beta. And usually, if you're going to get a beta from the Forgotten Desert, your best chance is the green and gold shards. So usually, that's all I do. I figured out where everyone is, and I got my own route that I take. And I can do all the gold and all the green in four minutes. So I can do this 15 times in an hour, which gives me 30 chances to get a beta. And usually, I would say one out of 10 times, maybe two out of 10 times, you will get a beta. So I'll get a couple of betas every hour. It does get boring, but I mean, it's, the, it's by far, the Forgotten Desert is the best way to get rares, to get spikes in Animal Jam. The blues and the purples give spikes. But it's like one out of, I would say like one out of 200. <laughs> so you got to do it like 200 times to get a spike. But here, watch what I do. See if you can learn uh, my little path that I take. And if you practice it enough, you can do the greens and golds in four minutes yourself. And also, I find that there's a lot less lag when there's just one person in here.
right, here we go. Am I gonna get a beta? Or am I gonna not get a beta? I didn't get a beta. So what that means is I got to do it again and again and again until I get some betas. Aside from getting betas in the desert, you can also trade for them, of course. Typically, on average, three to four betas. is worth a wrist, a regular wrist. And six, seven, eight betas is worth a short collar. So one of these is between six for like a pink up to eight for a red. Now, if you have 15, 16 betas, you can get a bad long collar, orange probably. Now if you have 20 betas and you throw in some really good ones, some camis, some small tables, you could even get something like that or that. A black is going to cost you 40 betas and you got to have some really good ones in there to get it. So let's take a look at some items that are worth beta. You can get one beta for a mech angel helmet, worn, beard. And a lot of people ask for two betas each for these. And you might be able to get that, but it might take a long time. So usually for these, I just ask for one real beta. Same thing for these. There's a lot of uh, I guess I'll call them fake betas. You can get a beta for those also, like the Myra statue, the wooden toy box, and the bronze giraffe. You can get betas for those. You can get a beta for the custom top hat, for bow and arrows, bone tail, candy cane socks. You can get up to two betas for an arctic hood. And on top hats, depending on what color they are, you can get between three up to six betas each for those. Long spike diamonds, you actually can only get one to two betas for those. So that's how I get a lot of my betas. I go to the Forgotten Desert and I will get betas. And if I don't get betas, well, the items I do get, I trade those for betas. And then you can trade your betas for wrists. You can trade them for collars and you can trade your wrists and collars for long spiked collars. That's called trading up. That's that's really what I did to get rare. A lot of Forgotten Desert, a lot of trades, and hopefully now you know all about betas. If it's a plant, it's not beta. If it's a sports item, it's not beta. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? The only furniture item that is beta is the small table and of course the heart couch. And no pots are beta. Sorry about that. And even though sewing machines, scarecrows, geckos, um, globes, the candy baskets and rocking horses, and fly traps even though even though they're not real betas they're actually worth i mean they're definitely worth a beta some of them are worth two or three betas so <laughs> they're not real betas everyone calls them betas and yeah they're tech they're not betas but they're betas you know what i mean they came out after beta testing but everyone loves them they're very early non-member items and that's why they are so popular and they are worth betas. Hopefully that makes sense. Trade me one real din beta each. All 
Uh, I don't have them on my list, but you could get a small beta for a fox hat, and you can definitely get a beta for Cupid wings. I would do it for the worn alone. All this other stuff is not really worth anything. There actually is a beta fountain, but that's not it. Okay, that's not a real beta, but it's definitely worth a beta. People consider it beta, so we're definitely going to take that one. Nerd glasses for Myra. I'll do that. You can get a couple of betas for nerd glasses. Can't do that one, though. Let's add a couple of more things that might be worth a beta on here. Uh, let's see what I got. Oh, I got another Warn. I'm surprised these Warns aren't gone. They usually go pretty fast, uh, especially for one beta, because usually people ask for two. Uh, Planet Walls is a beta. Um, oh, Deer Fur. You can get a beta for Deer Fur. Uh, orange mat. So I just traded a fake beta for a real beta. Some people like the toy box better. Okay, here's another beta for my worn. That'll work. And I just got four betas, so that's worth a rare wrist. And if I do that again, four more times, I'll have eight betas and I will be able to get something like that. And if I do all that again and I have two of these, then I'll be able to get a long spiked collar. So that's how you trade up. Um, Animal Jam is, I mean, when it gets right down to it, is really all about betas. Everyone wants betas, beta, 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 including me. A computer for Warren, that's a beta. Very cool. Uh, beta TV. If an item says beta in it, it is not beta. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you learned a lot about betas. It takes a lot of work. You know, trading up is, I mean, that's how you get rare. You trade some stuff for betas. You trade some betas for spikes. And you do that all over again. And you're in business. <laughs> you just got to do it every single day. That's what I did, and that's still what I do every day. You'll see me around here. Trade me a beta, trade me a beta, trade me a beta. <laughs> that's really all I do. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the next video. Okay, I got one more really good tip for you. This helped me out a whole lot. In fact, I probably use it every single day to look up items. Just go to the Animal Jam Wiki uh, if you're not sure about an item. Let's say you got a Royal Garden. Type it in, click on it, and it will tell you all about the item, when it came out, if it's still in stores, and it will tell you if it is a beta or not. And uh, while I'm at it, if anyone out there has a Royal Garden, I would love to trade for it. So hit me up about that. And now let's look up a real beta. Let's type in Cammy's Frog. Boom. Cammy's Frog is a non member land den item. It was formerly sold at Jamart Furniture and was released sometime in August 2010 during beta testing. So you can see down here that this is indeed a real beta item. And let's look up one that is not beta that a lot of people think is beta. Let's do the cactus. As you can see here, beta, no. Okay, that is not beta. And let's look up another one. Scarecrow, beta, no. It is commonly mistaken as a beta item, though it was released in October 2010, the month 
after beta. Okay? So every single item in Animal Jam, you can look it up here and you'll learn a lot about it. Um, if there's an item you're not sure of, look it up and eventually you'll start to remember all this stuff about all of these different items and you'll be a very smart jammer. All right, all right.